Hi and welcome to this two-part series. We're going to talk about how to increase your profit margins for your business in this two-part series. So uh, this one is part one of this series and uh, in part two we will cover the uh, second strategy for uh, increasing your profit margins for your business. Okay, so We've already because it's already because this series is split into two. You can kind of already deduce that there are two main strategies or two main ways to increase your profit margin for your business. Okay, so one is to increase your transaction value or your per transaction value. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video today in part one. So let's look at a typical online sales funnel. Okay, so let's just say you you run a you sell something online, whether it's an e-commerce shop like um, physical products, or if you sell digital products, if you're an information, if you sell information products as well. This would be this a very typical. Uh, and simple sales funnel, right? So you you drive traffic. Let's just say you're using Facebook and Google Ads as um, paid traffic sources. You drive people to your sales page here, and then there will be a certain percentage of people who will uh, want to buy your product. They go to the checkout form, and then once they purchase, they get taken to the thank you page. Okay, so that's a very simple. Uh, straightforward sales or online sales funnel, right? So here you can see in our um, what we'll call our control scenario, we have about 1,800 people in terms of traffic visiting our sales page. We have about five pe five percent of people who are going to take us up on our very low price offer of forty nine dollars for our product. Okay. And um, everybody who reaches our checkout form, let's just say they complete the checkout. And then they get taken to the thank you page. Okay, so that's on, um, if that happens over a period of a month, then your revenue is about $4,410. Okay, and let's just say um, in this example, we're going to keep it simple. We our expenses will be your traffic costs so that'll be eighteen hundred dollars and merchant fees for um, processing the payments for you what you're selling okay so you can see here this is the, your gross revenue and then your profit is about uh, just under uh, sort of two thousand four hundred and fifty five dollars that's your profit in that month okay so that's after um, taking your gross sales minus your um, ad costs and uh, any merchant fees. So we don't have any, we haven't inclu included any sort of fulfillment um, costs. Um, so we're just going to stick with like a digital product um, in this scenario. Okay. Okay. So that's what you're making um, in the, with a very simple online sales funnel. So how would you increase your profit margins with existing with just the existing traffic okay so without having to increase your advertising costs so let's have a look so we already mentioned already that one strategy is to increase the per transaction value so how do we do that so the Really, the easiest and simplest way to do that, to increase your per transaction value, is to add what we call upsells or downsells. And in this example, we didn't include it here, but also cross selling, right? So an upsell is um, you're asking somebody to pay a little bit more than what they originally purchased. So the, the original product that they've ordered is $49 here. Once they've uh, entered their details in the checkout page we offer them an upsell so we want to ask them to hey would you like to upgrade your order um, with this item that's slightly more expensive okay so they can some of them will say yes some of them will say no the ones that say no we can offer them a what we call a downsell so something that's just slightly 
cheaper than or lower cost than what they initially bought. Okay, so that's an upsell and a downsell. So a cross sell, what we don't have here in this example is, it's just something that's complementary to what they initially bought or maybe to complementary to one of these upsells or your downsell. Okay. So let's go back here. So we have our traffic sources where it's the same amount of traffic. Okay, we're selling them on the the initial product that they're we're selling is this same forty nine dollar product. The only difference in this scenario is we have added an upsell and a downsell. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens here to our numbers. Okay, now remember this is the with the exact same amount of traffic we have not changed anything else in terms of traffic we are we have only added an upsell and a downsell to our sales funnel so you can see here in this exact same month our revenue now is just a hair under eight thousand dollars and now our profits in that month has gone up to six thousand just over six thousand dollars okay Let's have a look at that. Just under $8,000 in gross revenue, and then profits is about just over $6,000. Now, without the cross sell and upsell, we were only at $4,400 in gross sales, right? So we've increased that to almost not quite doubling our revenue, and our profits has gone up to $6,000. That's just under three times your profit tripling your profits just by implementing an upsell and a downsell to this exact same scenario with the exact same traffic okay and I think I believe that is about a hundred and forty six percent increase in profits okay so you can see here that is one very simple way of increasing your profit margins in your business whether you're selling physical products or if you're selling digital products add an upsell and a downsell to your core offer or to any offer really and you potentially can be increasing your profit margins okay uh, what I'll do is I'll share if you if you're using WooCommerce, I'm going to share a link with you to with um, to show you what tool we use uh, for our WooCommerce shop to to do so, implement upsells, downsells, and cross sells very very quickly and easily. Now, n natively, WooCommerce is not very um, user friendly when it comes to trying and add an upsell or a downsell, but uh, with this simple plugin um, that we're using, it makes it super super easy for even non-technical people and um, if you have problems setting it up yourself you know we we can also help you do that with our WooCommerce sales booster service and I'll leave all the details below in the description uh, so I hope you like this video on the strategy for how to increase your profit margins for your business and look out for part two in this two-part series. Now, if you liked it, I hope you please uh, like this video. And also, if you want more of videos to help you grow your business, then subscribe to our channel.